Hey there everybody, it's Mark Curley, back with another how to draw video, uh, or to be more precise, a how to color video. I'm going to be showing you different uh, coloring techniques that I use, uh, um, but in order to do that I need to have something to color. So I'm going to begin all in time lapse doing a drawing of a realistic eye, get all those lines down in place, and then we can move on to the coloring. So let's get to it. All right, so we've got the basic lines in place. Now, a lot of you might be saying, hey, that was all in time lapse. It's impossible to keep up with that. Uh, well, the good news is I've got other videos where I do show pretty much line by line how to get to this stage. So I'll make links to those videos uh, if you want to follow along with that. But for now, we're going to move on into the color. Uh, the materials I'm using are watercolors that come from tubes like this, Grumbacher, Windsor, Newton, any good art supply store is going to have uh, these kinds of watercolors and just an ordinary brush. And I'm going to start by putting down a very light wash of color uh, uh, that means a lot of water, very little paint, just to get something down. The paper I'm using is a Strathmore Bristol uh, smooth surface, nice and thick so it doesn't wrinkle up when you start watercoloring. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so you can see I've got a very light layer here. I'm not really focused on perfection. I just want to get something down, and then I can build on top of that as we move toward final art. Uh, I'm going to do a second layer now where we focus a little more on the details. All right, now we're making progress, but what I want to do right now is switch to colored pencils. And I should stress that this is just my technique. I don't mean that everybody does this. Uh, everyone really finds their own way of doing things. But I like to switch at some point to colored pencils, tighten things up a little, and then we can kind of come back to watercolors after I'm done with that. So let's go ahead and tighten this up, as I said, with colored pencils. All right, so I'd like you to see as many different coloring tools as possible in this video. So I've decided to bring out these color pastels. Uh, and these are great for creating kind of smeary, foggy, misty effects. So uh, have a look at this as we add a layer of colored pastel. Okay, so you can see how the pastels allowed us to get a lot of these foggy, smeary kind of effects. And uh, now it's time to move on to the very most important part of the whole process, and that is the fine-tuning, uh, the polishing. The more time you put into this, the better. You put an hour into it, it's going to look good. You put two hours into it, it's going to look great. Uh, so let's just go to it. I'm going to be uh, zipping through all of this. You'll see watercolors, you'll see colored pencils, maybe bring the pastels back in, trading back and forth between all these things until we finally reach reach uh, the finished product. Well, as usual, I went through an awful lot of stuff in time lapse there, but let's consider this a sort of uh, overview video that shows you all my various materials that I use in coloring something. Uh, I did want to say that uh, this is white gouache here. It's a kind of water-based opaque paint, and that's what I use to add highlights. Usually wait until the very end of the process before adding these. Uh, it gives that effect of sort of glistening light, and uh, that can really be that final touch that uh, uh, finishes off the illustration for you. But I think it's time for me to go ahead and lay down this brush, uh, and I want to thank anyone who's got my Miki Falls graphic novel series, or Brody's Ghost from Dark Horse, now available in book fairs uh, as a Scholastic edition. Um, I want to thank you all once again for watching my videos. I greatly appreciate you subscribing, leaving comments, uh, supporting me uh, with all your words of encouragement. But for now, let's end this video. I want to thank you for watching it. I hope you found it useful, and I'll be back with another one real soon.